In this video, I'm going to show you guys everything you need to know about the new feature with Crypto Mines Fleets. Let's get into it. All right, so as usual, everything I'm talking about will be down below, so don't worry about searching for any of this info. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe, click that notification bell. I've got a ton of videos coming out in the crypto gaming play to earn space, and I'll be doing frequent updates on Crypto Mines as well. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those updates. All right, so here we are in Crypto Mines, and additionally, if you guys missed my full tutorial on how to get started with crypto mines, that video will be at the end of this one. Don't miss it. All right, so here we are in the back office, and let's go over to fleets. As you can see, I've already got one fleet created, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get started and create your own fleet. So the first thing you're going to need to do is pick up a few spaceships. As you can see, I've got four right here now. I did mint all of these myself. I had a couple ones where there are only one worker that I did go ahead and burn off, but I've got four right now with a total of 11 max workers. As far as the workers, I did burn a lot of these off. I still have one one star right here. I would like to have, at least in my fleets, two stars and up, and that just goes for the actual mining power. As you can see, I got 414 mining power as of now. So let's go ahead and click on fleets and we're going to go ahead and click create fleet and I understand. So we're going to go ahead and add our ships. You can see right here, drag and you can drag your ships right over to here. I'm going to drag that one and I'll go ahead and drag all these and that will be all of my ships. Then I'm going to go ahead and click on workers and I'll go ahead and drag all of these workers the same way I did with the ships. So I'll go ahead and do that real quick. All right, I've got all my workers drug over to there. Let me go ahead and click on name my fleet. I'm going to call this Crypto Fish 2 and create the fleet for 0 0.033 eternal. Depending on how many ships and workers, that price will vary. So you can see I got 0.65 eternal up there in my wallet and I've got about 12.9 that I'm going to be claiming here in a couple of days. So let me go ahead and click on create. I can either choose from my unclaimed or my actual wallet. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out of my wallet right now. It's nice that they give you that option in case you don't really have that in your wallet at the moment. You can go ahead and do it that way. And now this will go ahead and take a little bit to go ahead and create. So sit back, relax for a bit, and we'll go ahead and show you guys that when the fleet is ready to go. All right, as you can see, the fleet is up and ready to go. I've got four of 10 spaceships, six of 11 total workers. The nice thing, you can go ahead and add workers and spaceships to that fleet. So don't worry if you only had a few at the time, you can add some later and go ahead and fill that up. So what we need to do now is we need to buy some fuel. So you click on this little buy fuel button right there and it's gonna ask you how much fuel you want. I'm just gonna go for seven days right now and go ahead and click buy. And it's going to cost me 0 0.0005 eternal and go ahead and click on wallet and confirm the transaction and you should be good to go as far as the fuel on that fleet all right so you can see i've got fuel seven right there and let's go ahead now you've got to contract your workers and ships for the expedition so you go ahead and click on contract fleet so for seven days it's going to cost me 0.25 so i'm going to go ahead and do that let me go ahead and click on the wallet and again approve the transaction and this will take just a minute. Okay, so the fleet is ready to go. Full contract, as you can see in purple there, seven days and I've got seven worth of fuel. So now I can go ahead and go on an expedition with that fleet. So let me go ahead and click on expedition and I'm going to go ahead and choose which one I want. See, I got Crypto Fish 1. I'm going to go ahead and click on Crypto Fish 2 and as you can see, I got 414 mining power. So if I scroll down, I can only go to planet number four and it looks like I'll get 0.1115 eternal. So let me go ahead and click on begin expedition. I've got an 82% chance of being successful in that. Again, if you guys missed my first video, sometimes the expeditions aren't successful. That's just the way it goes. So let's hopefully see if this expedition is a good one. All right, so the expedition was successful. I got 0.115. And the roll of the dice was 47. I needed 82 or below. So that was automatically added to my wallet right here. I've got 13 unclaimed eternal in there right now, which is actually a pretty good chunk of change. If we go over to coin market cap and eternal right now is $163. So let me do the math right now. 163 times 
13 and we got about two thousand dollars in that account ready to be unlocked and again that will be just a couple days maybe three or four days i will go ahead and pull that eternal out the price of the coin eternal has been absolutely skyrocketing i think i got back into eternal when it was about fifty dollars a coin if i'm not mistaken so if we go over the one month period i got back into this project about right in here and as you can see it's going parabolic right now so this is another project that has got a huge upside potential it is one of the top projects as far as play to earn gaming on the binance smart chain right now i believe last time i checked it was number one as far as users volume the whole nine this project has been going really well and we should be hopefully good to go into the future now as you can see uh, my first ship is 1500 mining power if you go back over to expeditions and i can scroll all the way down and i'll show you how much i can actually make with that ship and it's going to be right here i can get 0.59 eternal for that ship if i am successful when i go ahead and try and mine that planet the amount of eternal does fluctuate depending on the actual price so the higher the price of eternal the lower the amount of eternal you'll get when you're actually mining that's just kind of how they have it set up and that's just what they decided to do going forward all right so that's everything you need to know about fleets on crypto mines let me know down below if you do have any additional questions maybe something i overlooked again if you are new here make sure you subscribe click that notification bell i've got a ton of videos coming out in the play to earn crypto gaming space that you're not going to want to miss also updates to this one they are going to be having raids coming out in the future and i will definitely have a video out on that if you did enjoy this video make sure you smash that like button i would appreciate it and if you want to get started with crypto mines make sure you go ahead and check this video out right here